cross. Okay, we are in Algebra 2, Lesson 3-11, uh, talking about geometric series word problems. I'll do the date once I plug in my tablet. Someone read the objective. Jade is first. Yeah, so it's, it's that same formula that we were talking about for the warm-up. Um, ooh, it got dark. Okay, uh, by the way, today's date is Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. Um, let's review. So these variables, what do they mean? We can go kind of rapid fire since we've all done the warm up. Uh, Charles. First number. What? Uh, yeah, the, the quantity of numbers, how many numbers there are. R is Jenny. It is the common ratio i.e what do you multiply to get from the first term to the next term and then s sub n is the jade some of the series yeah or the siri you know series is a single word yeah even though it ends with an s Yep, okay, who's got the formula? We've done it a few times for the warm-up. Formula, 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 formula. Uh, let's give it to Josie. Yep. Um, Woo, there it is. All right, thank you. All right, Jade, do you want to read your problem? Um, I would also like to point out that Jade, Wyatt, and Charles, there are 25 problems on the AMC. Um, that's where that number came from. So let's... Yeah, you need to monetize. And you're probably not going to make $12 per video. You'll probably make maybe 12 parts of a cent. So almost a full cent. Not even close to a full cent, sorry. Uh, you have to make lots of views to get money. Anyway, how do I do this? I'll leave the formula up here so we can plug into it. We're just plugging into the formula again. You just need to be smart about how you do that. So I'll search your hand kind of half raise. I know why it's hand is a full raise. Yeah, Charles. A would indeed be 12. Let's label that. A is 12. Keep going. N would be 25. And R is a little bit harder. It's a good guess, but not quite. Another good guess, and you're closer, but still not quite. So, and this is this is where I have to introduce a lesson, but let's hear from Jade first. Uh, that's that's still 0.12, but yes, uh, you're really close, just like Charles, not quite. So whenever you see the words more or less, that means more or less than 100%. So think about it this way. If I multiply by one over and over again, nothing changes. If the common ratio, if R is equal to one, let me make this a little bit more formal. If R is equal to one and I'm trying to find the next number, the next number is the same as the previous number because the first number was... 12, my common ratio is 12, then that's going to be 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. I need a common ratio that is bigger than one. How much bigger than one, Mr. Sindel? 12% bigger than one, actually. 12% more than one. I'm trying to get these keywords. More, plus, it's a plus sign. 12% more than one. So as Jade and Charles told us, 12% as a decimal is 12 over 100 as a fraction, or 0.12 as a decimal. So what is our real common ratio that we should be finding? What? 1.12. There it is. R is equal to 1.12. A little bit hard to find, but the general procedure is, hey, you have a percent, 12%. Go ahead and convert it to a decimal. How? 
Well, it's 12.0%. I can move this decimal place one, two to the left, and I'm now at 0 0.12. There is my decimal. If it says I'm getting more money, you're going to add it. If it says 12% less money, you're losing money with each video, then you subtract 0.12 from one. And it has to be like 0.88, which is fine. It's going down, but that's how you work with percentages. That's kind of the, the main new thing that we're learning in this lesson. Okay, we have all these things. Who can put them all together? Who can bake our cake, our formula cake? Um, I wanna hear from someone aside from those three. Sorry. Uh, I know, I singled you out like that. Someone else, bake our cake, just plug it in. Go on, yeah. There is, and then it's a calculator problem. So, handy dandy calculator, come here. Oh, it's actually back here. Yo, no, let's, okay, let's get rid of you. So, it's gonna be 12 times one minus 1.12 to the power of 20, 25, all of this divided by one minus 1.12, and whoa, look how much money you've made, Jade. Oh, uh, what are we rounding to? Round to the nearest cent. Oh, it's it's exactly one thousand six hundred bucks. You're rich. You can buy buy a decent computer with that. Isn't your computer like one thousand three hundred? No, the one that he just built. Oh, but you got a new graphics card, so that's probably not right. I didn't calculate that in. All right, we're done with that problem. Give me a fist five. How could you follow example number one? Five, five, three, four, four, five, five, four, four. Yeah, about an average of like 4.3, I guess. All right. Um, yeah, I, I was very having fun with these problems. Uh, okay, so who wants to read a story about my son? I need a voice, a beautiful voice. All right, wife. Jane. Mr. Cadell's son Riley is standing really high on a swing really high on him. On the first arc when Cadell stops looking Riley, Riley swings on the arc that is two meters long. With each swing, Riley swings on an arc that is seven, eight, the length of the previous swing. What is the total distance that Riley has traveled after the fifth swing? There it is. So I'm just making sure we have the definition correct. It's not one full revolution of a swing. It's here, then times seven eighths, times seven eighths times seven eighths with each one like half of a revolution. All right, and this is what you're asking for, right? Fractions, seven eighths for the common ratio. Charles. Um, seven eighths would be R. Oh yeah, let's start labeling these things. Seven eighths is R, what's another variable that we can, oh, what happened? Ah. Seven eighths is R. What's something else we can label? Jade. 15 is N. 15 is N, we haven't got the two. Two is? Sorry. Uh, yeah, Jenny. Hey, there it is. Someone bake our formula cake. Plug them all in. Gunner. <laughs> One. Minus. Minus the common ratio. Which one is R? Seven eighths to the power of? Now I'm gonna put this in parentheses so we don't accidentally think it's only the seven, it's that entire seven eighths to the power of 15. All of this divided by what, Gunner? Seven eighths, there it is. And this is just a calculator question yet again. And should I show you guys your quick little shortcut for your homework tonight? Shortcut magic is this. You do A times one minus R power of N all divided by one minus R. Wait, did you just type in the formula? Yes, you just type in the formula, check this out. A is equal to, was it two? 
R is equal to seven eighths. And finally, N is equal to 15. And up here, it says the answer is 13.8841. Yeah. And now if I need to retype in my formula, I can just change A to four. What if I had an initial arc of four meters? Or what if it was three meters? Or what if it was one meter? It changes automatically. Pretty nice, right? It'll save you some time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so um, what are we supposed to be rounding to? I didn't say poor Mr. Snow. Okay, I'm gonna round to randomly two decimal places. So we have 13.84, there we go. So I need to change this to approximately equal to since I'm rounding 13.84 units are meters, which are better than feet. Sorry, Imperial units, you just kind of stink. And yeah, that's the problem. I hope these are getting pretty easy now. Like you memorize the formula, plug it in the formula. That's your physics class, typically speaking. Math class is more figuring out those formulas, but yeah, plug and chug, you gotta learn how to do that too. Yeah, Charles? Uh, almost, yeah. I did try to remember those too. Thank you for checking, yeah. All right, um, he's not even here to read his problem. Who wants to read, read Andres' problem? Another beautiful voice. Jade, I feel bad I didn't call on you for the last beautiful voice. Do you want to read this one? Sure. Okay, I did put the rounding in this one. I just forgot the last one. All right. Um, yeah, what do I do? I don't know. Wyatt has an idea. I'm hoping like everyone has an idea. You're just maybe nervous about sharing it. <laughs> You're already the tallest hand, White. You don't need your hat. <laughs> uh, let's hear from Charles again, and then I'm going to be done with you guys. I, I won't call on you ever again for the rest of the day. Um, yep. Well, R, that, this, this is the thing that's used to find R, right? Oh, man, I hope I would trick someone, but you you got it, yeah. So when you think of the number five, can I, I just want to make sure that everyone gets this, and I'll let you do the rest of the variables. Um, the number five is really 5.00. You can have as many zeros uh, to left as you want, and as, as soon as you have a decimal, you can have as many zeros to right. This is the number five. Why do you have so many zeros? It's so that when I move the decimal place, I can see what's going on. Uh, move the decimal place two to the left, do that little dance, choink, choink to the left, and our new decimal is 0 0.05. A lot of people, the most common mistake with percentages is thinking, oh, 5%, that's 0.5. It happens every single test. Try to make, oh, it'll be interesting to see, can every single person remember on your test and not do that? I'm curious. So on the test, yeah, 0 0.05, and then we added it to one because it's more, right? 5% more, not 5% less, less would have been one minus that 0 0.05 we got. 0.95 instead of 1.05. All right, Charles has R. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the rest of the class. Sorry, the three. No, um, someone else for the rest of the class. Who have I not heard from very much? Uh, Jose, label another variable. Um, we actually don't know A because the first day, is A, right? And we're that's the question. How far is the first day? So yeah, let's label that A. But you need to label a different one though. Yep, S sub N, thank you. And let's go with uh, Josie, label the last one. Um, yeah, and Oh yeah, we already used up the, Charles used the five for the 1.05. So the last, I, I thought you said it, sorry. Yeah, the last number that we haven't used so far is the 21, after 21 days. 21 is in, yeah. And then generally speaking to everyone, N is going to be a unit of time. So there's only one of these things that says time and it's the days, 21 days. All right, someone bake our formula cake. Sorry, the three, no more. Uh, if you guys wanna go ahead and get started on the Khan Academy assignment, you can. If anyone else feels like they've solved this already, you can. Yeah, Jose, and then Gunnar, hopefully, after that. Baker form the cake, Jose. 75. 
There it is. Thank you. Cool. And we're not done yet because this isn't as easy as just plugging it into the calculator because I have two sides of the equation. I need just one side of the equation with a bunch of numbers, the other side with just the one unknown variable. We need to isolate that variable. Sorry, the three. Just keep doing homework. No, no, no. I, didn't like, I didn't post it. Oh, man. All right. Slide aside. I guess. Yeah, sure. Log it, whatever. It's the last one. How did I forget it? Um, this is the right class, right? Yep, yep, yep. Where is finite geometric series word problems? Assign this by what time does class start? 1.25 p.m. By the 27th? No, by tomorrow, the 22nd. All right. That should be up now if you refresh. Um, next step is to... Gunner had his hand up, so he gets first, first preference. No, it was just a... Spasm. Uh, Jose again. Yep, by what? Yep, that cancels out that one, right? And then times 1 minus 1 1.05. And also divide by something, right? Because we want to get rid of this thing. Yeah, divide by it. 1 minus 0 0.05 to the power of 21, which... So everything is canceled out. A is isolated. And over here, the thing that we're going to type into the calculator is right here. Um, that's 1 minus 1 1.05 to the power of 21. Let's figure out what that is. So come over here to the scientific calculator. And I'm just going to change some things, right? No, unfortunately you can't. But if you're really clever, you can make a second equation that takes in the same variables. Should I show you how to do that? Yeah, yeah. So what are we really doing here? We're really saying um, S, I'll just call it S to make it simple. S is going to be our new thing that we need for our variable. And then down here, what does our formula look like? Well, I did one minus our common ratio. So one minus the common ratio, and I need to put this in, I'll just make a fraction first. One minus the common ratio. And then on the bottom, it was one minus the common ratio to the power of N. And I multiply that by S. Okay, well, it doesn't know what that is because I haven't typed that in. So now I have two equations. Maybe I can Grab that guy, put it up here, command X, and just paste right there. Okay, so those are the two types of equations I have, depending on what I have. And delete whatever you don't have. So what do I not have? I don't have A. So get rid of it. What is my R in this case? My R is 1.05. What is my N? It's 21. What is my S? It is 75. And that second equation, remember there are two equations up here now. The second equation works. The first one doesn't because I don't have the required information. And it looks like it's about that. What am I running to? Round to the nearest tenth. So two point, who can round that for me? It's a little bit harder. Someone aside from Jose, he just did the last two. How do you round 2.0997 to the nearest tenth? That means nearest one decimal place. Gunner, round 2.0997 to the nearest tenth, to the nearest one decimal. 2.0? Nearest tenth, you still have one decimal, so two point and then a number. No, that's two numbers. That's not how you round, though. So if this second number right here is bigger than five, then I, this one goes up, right? Two point one, there it is. So our answer A is equal to two point one. And what are our units here? Two point one miles. So that means Andres, on his first run, he went 2.1 miles, and then he increased by 5% more each day, each day, each day, for 21 days. And then after those 21 days, he ran a total distance of 75 miles. Good job, Andres. That's a lot of running to do. Um, there's the formulas. Once again, if you want to see them in the video, and I have my variables down here, and that concludes the lesson.